Hi John, my name is Trevor with Rangeland RV. I received your request on our Noble 19.1. I uh, figured a little bit easier just to do a little video walkthrough, but I'll include some photos for you as well. All right, put around. You'll see right off the bat that nice front cap profile. You get the single tank power tongue jack, uh, your battery holder right behind it. Uh, moving along the side. Let's see a nice tandem axle with aggressive tires. Uh, great for puncture resistance. Nice pass-through pass -through storage underneath. Enough it can fit your full-size spare. Um, you have the Rhino rack on the roof, but you also have a couple accessories, the kayak rack and, and things like that. Uh, you can see all aluminum framing up there. Um, you get the flat top griddles tucked back there with the, uh, the metal... Um, table that goes on top of this outside rack magnetic latches really nice you don't have to worry about those little plastic ones breaking off on you um, all LED exterior lighting nice large awning you have an outdoor spotlight that's white but there's also a secondary switch uh, that will turn it yellow um, moving on you got these nice tandem axle with the aggressive tires more ride steps Nice full frame glass door. <clears throat> Moving around the back side, you got this patio slash uh, ramp for your toys to go on inside. You'll notice up top right here, you got two more of those spotlights. They switch to yellow as well. Uh, this whole rack actually folds flat onto the deck and pins itself down so you don't have to worry about removing it every time. Uh, moving on to this side, really nice feature that this one has. This pulls down, which gives you access to climb on the roof, put your kayaks up, put your toolie box, whatever you, whatever you have to put up there. And then not a whole lot on this side. Do want to mention it does have a black tank flush. Um, so that's a nice little feature there. We will move back around, head on inside. So, moving on the inside here, I'm just going to zoom out to give you a wider aspect. So you have your two seats right here, a uh, nice big long one, that also converts down into a bed, I'll show you in a moment. Table, uh, so that's nice to have a portable table because you can bring it right out on your deck or you can put it up here for dining, uh, whatever the case is. Here's your deck. <clears throat> Moving on over here, and you can see nice big thick aircraft cables. Uh, you'll never have to worry about that. Uh, you can also adjust them. So they have a turning buckle that you can adjust. All right, we'll go on to the seats. So this guy drops down like that. You grab the whole thing, flip it up into place. It's got a couple tethers for when you're traveling. This one, same thing, pull up. Tuck it up and out of the way. And this opens your garage right up. You have tons of anchor points. Give you a view from there. Moving over to this side, you got some storage up here. Generally, you could put a TV up there or just use that storage, whatever you wish. Um, nice reinforced wheel wells. More storage over there. Coming over to this side, again, all the way across. Nice storage. We'll move back. You're able to see your nice three-way fridge. With independent freezer. Right back here, you have a nice two-burner cooktop. Moving down, nice convection microwave. And then you have your road vac system. So you can plug a vacuum hose into here, uh, vacuum up, or right here. So that's a, uh, a sweep in. You kick the panel up, it turns on, you can sweep um, the dirt and dust and whatnot into there. Really handy when you're putting toys in here, a little bit of mud, whatnot. Up top, more storage.
nice big stainless steel sink. Uh, very deep. Moving back, you have the nice bedroom area, all illuminated up in these cabinets. It's really nice if it's dark and you want to see what's in there a little bit easier. Uh, so that's independently controlled by that switch. You also have a couple of uh, bunk switches you could just push on and off. Uh, nice bed here. Little ledge with some cup holders. It's great to have. There is a ledge right here. Uh, this is all your accessories. So you have the big net um, that actually covers that back door. So a big screen. Um, as well as some odds and ends. You got some more storage right in there along with your safe. So inside that safe, you're going to find a um, JBL Bluetooth speaker. So that's really nice. Comes with it. Uh, fuse panels right down low. And then moving on back, we'll check out the bathroom. So there's your bathroom there. Uh, decent size. So I'm 5'10 on a good day. Oh, you. I still have plenty of headroom without going up into this domed um, skylight. And then right over here, you'll see it is prepped for solar. So what that means, the wires are right behind here. On top, there's a quick plug. Uh, just makes the wiring, they don't have to go through the walls or anything, it's already pre-wired. Down here, you'll see your uh, tank controls and you can check all your levels and whatnot. Uh, this is the light for the bathroom and then down here you'll see so you have heated um, holding pads on all of the tanks so you can select which one you want um, to warm up really handy for pushing the season a little bit uh, but yeah that is the 19.1 Nobo um, if you have any questions at all feel free to give me a call uh, my number will be in the bottom of the email that I send you and um, yeah, have a great day.